the cage system. If you play guitar at all, a lot, maybe just a little bit, you've likely heard of this concept. If you do any Googling about guitar stuff, you'll certainly have come across this idea, the caged system. What is it? How does it work? Should I learn it? Why do I even care? Let's talk about it. The cage system is just that, a system for organizing the fretboard. It's called the caged system because it consists of five common chord shapes. Notice I said shapes. These chord shapes are common to us because we're typically playing them in first position and most beginning guitar players have some uh, familiarity with these chord shapes. They are C major, A major, G major, E major, and D major. You might say, yeah, I know all those chord shapes. How does it help me, you know, shred up and down the, the fretboard? Well, the idea is simple. If we put those chord shapes in order, it will create a path for us to move up and down the fretboard. So if you play a C chord, that is obviously shaped like a C, you can then play an A shaped chord at the fifth fret. Really kind of, we know this more of thinking of barring across the third fret and then holding down strings two, three, and four at the fifth fret. Uh, now this chord looks like the shape of an A chord. However, it ain't. It's a C chord. The same thing is true with G, E, and D. If we play a G chord uh, while barring across the fifth fret and holding down the seventh fret of the sixth string, um, you'll and filling in the you know the rest of the fingerings there, you'll see that yeah, this looks kind of like a G chord. Might be a little uncomfortable to play, but of course it's not. It's it's a C chord. This is the same as true with the E and the D. So you are taking these common shapes putting them in different location on the neck of the guitar, and as such, playing different iterations of the same chord, C major. If you've ever used a capo, you should be somewhat familiar with this idea. It really is the same concept. You know, if we take our capo and, and slap it on to, uh, I don't know, like the fourth fret of the guitar, and we play that same tired old C chord we've always been playing, not there's anything wrong with that. It's a good chord. Well, it will look like a C, it will, feel like a C, but it will not be a C. It'll in fact be an E chord. It can't be a C chord, right? Because we've changed its location on the fretboard and in doing so, we have a different set of notes that we're playing. The whole idea of the cage system is getting rid of the capo and relegating one of your fingers to be a capo. I call it the old uh, flesh capo, right? So we're taking the material we know in first position or open position, we're putting it elsewhere on the fretboard, maybe reordering our fingers a little bit so that we can take care of any open strings or, or do any barring. So really it's not any different than uh, the idea of playing C, A, G, E, or D with a capo, except that we don't need that capo anymore. Okay, so I get it. I can use these common chord shapes, kind of stitch them together, and move up and down the fretboard, and I don't have to rely on the capo anymore. Great, so it sounds like I should learn the cage system, right? Eh, maybe. You know, I think that there are quite a few gaps in the cage system. It leaves uh, a couple huge um, painful holes in your knowledge of music and the fretboard. I think it's probably worth learning, but it definitely wouldn't be my first system. To look at. I would recommend, you know, first of all, learning every note on the neck of the guitar. And believe it or not, there's a very efficient and useful system for doing that. I then look at, I don't know, maybe learning my triads, up and down string sets, and across the four string sets, play the different chord types, major, minor, augmented, diminished, play the inversions, maybe learn a scale system. I don't know. It goes on quite a, quite a ways. But um, not to say that there's no value in the cage system, that's not true. I think there is some value, but it would be pretty low on my priority list of systems uh, to learn and exploit in, or in order to really be able to get around the guitar. So anyway, cage system explained. Do with it what you will.